Hi guys, one of my favorite topics, sharks. <clears throat> Everybody thinks sharks, let me tell you a cute story. And this happened more than once. We very, we ran a lot of trips, a lot of trips. Our trips were always filled and a lot of fun. We made sure they were fun. But often what would happen is we would have juniors. Well, we go juniors. And by juniors, I don't mean <clears throat> someone who, that's not derogatory. It simply means maybe one of two things. Somebody who's quite young, because we often got teenagers Sometimes young teenagers, 13, 14, 15, uh, would go with us. Often with these juniors, maybe new divers and quite young, often <clears throat> I would get into a conversation with, with the, the parents, uh, most commonly with the mom. And the mom would come to me on the side and she would say, yeah, so, uh, so uh, uh, Elizabeth is going, yeah, she's really excited about this trip, you know, uh, Mr. Pierce, Mr. Pierce. And uh, yeah, yeah, she said, and, she said and, and I'm looking forward to it. I think she has everything. Oh yeah, she'd be fine. She'd have a great time. And she said, um, uh, what about sharks? <laughs> Very calm. I didn't laugh. No, I can't laugh. Yeah, you'd be serious. Well, you know, there's a possibility if we're very, very fortunate, we might see a shark. It's not likely. No, it's not likely. In common uh, sport diving areas, uh, uh, we don't see many sharks, and there are very many sharks in, in uh, Cozumel. We don't want to see them where we're diving very seldom, but it's a possible. We might see one. And I said, are you worried about uh, about her safety around a shark? I said, yeah, yeah, because I've read about sharks, and you know, you know, sharks eat people. <laughs> I'm, I can keep, I'm trying to keep a straight face, which I can do really well. And, uh, and, and uh, <clears throat> so I say, well, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about the sharks. I said, now this trip is uh, February the 1st. It leaves on the 1st of February. And uh, it's going to be kind of snowy and wet and icy. How, how, how are you folks getting to the airport? And uh, she said, well, we're driving. We're driving, and it's about a three-hour drive, but we're driving her down. I said, in the snow and the ice in February the 1st to the airport in Toronto, a busy city? I said, well, don't worry about the sharks. You'd be very careful driving. And I said, now, the airline we're with is Air Canada. It's extremely safe, but we are going to get into a big aluminum tube with monster jet engines on it and travel at 600 miles an hour in the air. You know that, eh? <laughs> Oh, you're not worried about that. I said, no, good. Don't worry. You just understand where I would go with the story. And hopefully over a short period of time, a few minutes, I would have this moment relaxing and realizing that her fears, while, well, you know, real, are not really justified. So it's kind of funny. Statistically, you're not going to be eaten by a shark, diver or not. In fact, if you're not a diver, <laughs> you're more likely to get eaten by a shark or injured by a shark. Nobody gets eaten by sharks. Sharks don't do that. Sharks take a bite off of something. They tear a fish tail off or a head off and they eat it. So they don't, they don't eat many things whole. <clears throat> but if you're a swimmer or a surfer, then you're more likely to see sharks and, and, and to be exposed to the danger of a shark. Sharks do have sharp teeth. In nature. However, I enjoy the statistics because even though our fear of sharks is, 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 is a real fear, it is unfortunately uh, uh, generated by what we see on TV and sometimes in movies and, and uh, in the newspapers and so on. And shark attacks, shark bites, shark injuries, injuries caused by any kind of injury caused by a shark, that's big news. The very fact that it's big news, front page news, is it proves that it's not very common. It just doesn't happen. So there are some statistics, and Kevin put some of them on there, about the dangers that we face in the world. And some of them are very, very real. Like I have seen a lot of sharks in my life, a lot of sharks. We used to also organize dive trips specifically for sharks. We have some divers, kind of myself and Diana too included, who enjoy seeing these beautiful animals. And we go to places where they are frequent. Really, there's nothing else in places in South Africa where there are sharks aplenty. There's really nothing else. There are fish, but there's not much coral and so on. We actually run a trip to South Africa for the sole purpose of getting close to big sharks. Other places as well. So the, uh, the uh, likelihood is very, very slim. The danger is almost non-existent. You have greater danger from being on scuba diving underwater than the danger from the shark. But some of the statistics are pretty good. You folks have heard of mosquitoes. Yeah. I've seen a lot of sharks in my life. I've seen a heck of a lot more mosquitoes. And those mosquitoes are a lot more likely to injure or even kill me. And other animals as well. 
hope this has been interesting for you. Kind of controversial. It's hard to get rid of those fears. They're in your mind. It's hard to get rid of them. But maybe these statistics will help a little bit. Hope you've enjoyed this. Watch it now for a few minutes. And I'll talk to you again. Alec Pierce.